any two non-parallel lines define a unique plane, and we can use a stereo net to find the strike and dip of the plane that's defined by two, or in some cases, more lines. So in this case, we have two lines um, that are already shown by dots on the stereo net, but let's check their orientations. Um, the first one has a trend of 0, 088 degrees, and then to check its plumb, we'll spin the tracing paper so that the dot lies on the equator. We'll count in along the equator, and that has a plunge of 34 degrees. For the second dot, it should have a trend of 204 degrees. So we'll count around this, the outside of the circle to find that, and then count in along the equator until we get to the dot, and that's a plunge of 48 degrees. Now to find the best fit great circle, to find the plane that contains those two lines, we want to line those two dots up along the same great circle. And then we'll trace that great circle so that we'll be able to figure out its strike and dip. And when you trace it, it becomes a little more clear that those two dots do fall on the same best fit great circle. And making tick marks to make it easier to identify the strike. Then we're going to figure out the strike of the plane by spinning the tracing paper so that north on the tracing paper lines up with north on the stereo net template, and then counting around the primitive until we get to the tick mark for the strike. In this case, that strike is 345065 degrees. Then to find the dip of the plane, we'll want to spin the tracing paper so that the strike on the tracing paper lines up with north on the stereo net template. Then count in from the outside to find the dip angle. In this case, the dip angle is 60 degrees. And then we also want to know the dip direction to completely define the orientation of our plane. And the dip direction is the direction in which that great circle bulges. In this case, it bulges down towards the southeast. So our dip direction is towards the southeast.